this video we will be looking at the properties grid in more detail. So we would start with a blank sketch and then launch the GUI builder. In the controls pane we can see that the currently selected control is the main window and below in the properties grid there are a number of properties we can edit. The first property, Scale, simply changes the drawing scale in the form view. This is useful when creating GUIs for small or very large windows, but it has no effect on the actual sketch. If you click on the Sketch property, you will see it is highlighted in blue. This indicates that this property is not editable. The next property is the text that will appear in the title bar of our sketch window. Let's change it now. The last three properties specify the render and window size. So let's have a window 320 by 240 pixels using the P3D renderer. Let's first change the renderer. If we click here, we get a list of available renderers and one is P3D, so we click that. Let's change this to 320. So we'll delete what's there. Notice that it's changed to a pink background. This shows that the value so far is invalid. So I'll type in 320. OK. And then we'll click on the next one, the height. And we'll change that to 240. OK, so there we are. I'm going to switch on the snap to grid and show that so that we can line up our controls and I'm going to add some controls. So first of all I'm going to add a label and put it up here and I'm going to enlarge the label so it goes across the width of the display and then I'm going to add a couple of buttons. Here's the first button, we'll put that on the left hand side and then another button here and we'll put that on the right hand side. I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to alter the text that appears on the top. And I'm simply going to put this as left. And on this one I'm going to change it to right. And we can see that some of these, cha these changes also appear in the GUI. If we now look at the processing development environment, we can see the code that GUI Builder has created. In the GUI tab, the code is in three parts. At the bottom, we have the variable declarations needed for our controls. Above that, we have the create GUI method, which has all the code to create the GUI designed in the GUI Builder window. And finally, near the top, we have the event handlers for the two buttons. All the code in this tab is auto-generated by GUI Builder, so it is important we don't change it directly in the PDE. The only code you can edit is the code inside the event handlers. Let's modify the code in event handlers, so a message appears in the label saying which button has been pressed. So let's start our sketch. Here's our sketch. If I click on the left, left button clicked, right, right button clicked. Everything's working just fine. Now let's go back to GUI Builder and make some changes. So we'll stop the program. Let's look at some of the properties for button 2 in more detail. When a control is added to the sketch, GUI Builder generates a unique name based on the control type and we can edit the name here. So let's try changing it to see what happens. Let's change it to button 1. Notice that it's gone to pink. This means this name is invalid. The reason it is invalid is because we've already used button 1 for the left button. So let's try something else. Other things that aren't acceptable are Java key names such as class. Also most of the processing names are also disallowed like loop. It is usual to name the controls to indicate the type of control and what they're for. We do this by starting the variable name with a three or four letter 
lowercase identifier. So in this case, I'm going to use btn to indicate that it's a button, and then left, sorry, right, because this is the right button. The next property is the event method, and again, we would probably rename this to something that is useful. So we can't use button right because that's already been used as the variable name. So we'll call it button right click. Okay, so we'll rename the left button to match. Okay, and the label we'll call that label show. And we'll start the text off with three question marks. Okay, notice that the window is quite big and we don't really need a 3D render. So let's try changing those properties now. We can see that these properties can no longer be edited because GUI Builder detected a call to the size method in the source code. If we want to change these properties, we need to do it in the source code. So let's do that now. Go to the main tab. We'll change the height to 100. And we'll make it the default Java 2D render. If we look at the GUI tab, this has been regenerated. Notice now that the event methods have been renamed and also the variables have been renamed. So because we've renamed the label, we also need to change that in the event handlers. So I'm going to do that now. We've changed the size, so let's try that out. And there we go. Now using the default grid. So we'll stop that. And what we'll do now is we'll just go back for a final look at GUI Builder. Note that GUI Builder has picked up on the change in render and height from the source code. So that's it for this guide. I hope you find it useful. Bye now.